everybody welcome back it is day 126 as a beekeeper seven days ago i put in the mite away quick strips and today i'm going to open up the hive and see what's going on i have been out of town for the last three days when i left everything looked pretty normal the bees were definitely bearding on the outside of the hive but uh, i hadn't seen any dead bees so there was there was no dead bees outside the hive and everything looked pretty normal Today when I got back in town, I noticed that there's nobody bearding on the outside. Now, I don't know if that means the formic acid has just dissipated and they're all back in the hive or they're out foraging, but uh, I have noticed a lot of sort of flight activity out in the front of the hive. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm a little bit concerned because it just doesn't seem like the population that was here a few days ago is still here. So I'm a little bit worried, but I'm going to open up and see what's going on. First thing I'm going to do is check the inspection board and see how many varroa mites have died. All right, here we go. Wow. Wow. Can you see that? That's got to be a couple thousand. And that's just what fell off the bees. I have no idea if that's what was inside the cells too. Wow. And I didn't think I had a heavy mite load. Yikes. Like I was saying, uh, there's a lot of activity in the front of the hive, and I don't know if, I mean, there's, it's just like a ton of pollen coming in right now, and I don't know if these are just foragers all just hovering around the entrance, or if this is some kind of a robbing situation, I'm not sure. It does not look like robbing, but it just seems a little different than I usually see. Could be because there's a flow happening right now. There are a lot of wildflowers, a lot of goldenrod, sunflowers are up. It could just be really cranking with the, the nectar and the pollen, but it just seems a little odd. I'm gonna open up right now and just see what the population looks like inside. All right, that looks normal. All right, there is still a lot of brace comb on this uh, frame, but no, no hanging comb at all. I don't know what is up with this medium box, but it's coming off today. They are no longer gonna have this space. All right, this looks this looks normal. We got a we got a population here. All right, quick strips. The bees have started attacking the quick strips. The strips are coming out. They've done their job. There are dead mites everywhere. All right, I really, really want to see a queen today. 
I'm gonna pick up a couple frames. See if we see brood and larva and hopefully a queen. I still see drones. There's still a lot of drone cells, honey. Watch out, bees. Capped brood drones. I don't see any dead bees. I see a queen. Yes. There is a living queen. We have a live queen on this frame. That's all I'm going to do today. Get out of the way, bees. Bees. All right. Check out the line of marching bees. They're going from the medium. Over here, right into the hive. All right, I am not going to put the medium back on. I'm going to take this brace comb off the top of the top super and then I'm going to put the inner cover on here and then the lid. I'm not going to feed them today and there's not going to be a top flow box or a top medium on the hive. Right, yes. Big round of applause to Might Away Quick Strips. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid. I didn't get any free strips. I didn't do anything. This is not an endorsement uh, that is being paid. But I will say, thumbs up on Might Away Quick Strips. Check this out. There's easily a couple thousand Varroa here. I saw tons of Varroa on the frames on the inside. I don't know how many else fell through the screen and just got taken away or whatever. So just perfect results, totally as advertised. Everything went according to plan. We have a living queen, we have a vibrant hive, all the bees are in there. I don't see any dead bees anywhere. There weren't any inside the hive, there weren't any outside the hive. Uh, I was a little worried at the beginning because the outside activity seemed a little bit thin. It didn't seem as vibrant as normal. But when I opened it up, everything was just totally booming inside. So things are just great. I mean, I follow the instructions to the letter. Uh, I opened up the front entrance, full ventilation. I cracked the top uh, brood box back. 
so that the bottom brood box had a, about a three quarter inch gap on the front. The temperatures this week, we had a very, we had a high temperature this week uh, in the last seven days hit 84 degrees Fahrenheit one day. The average high for the last seven days was 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So totally in the sweet spot for treating with Mite Away Quick Strips. Uh, just, just perfect. Everything is just great. So I took off the medium, which in almost a month now has had no comb built on the frames. Uh, I took off the top flow box that I'd had on there for ventilation and for feeding, but there was no frames inside. It was just an empty, empty box. I took that off. Uh, I put the inner cover right on top of the top brood box and the lid. I'm going to leave it like this for about a week or so and let the bees kind of get their, uh, you know, get their vibe back and, and there's a huge flow going on right now. I can tell we are in wildflower, uh, fall wildflower peak season right now. And uh, I, I can just see tons of pollen coming in. So they're just packing the hive. Uh, there is a lot of brood that I saw on the three frames that I, that I looked at. Uh, I hope it's alive. That's the one thing I, I really didn't check was to see if there was living brood. But I'm going to open this up in about a week and see if anything new is coming out. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all your advice. Um, people who are telling me not to treat, I don't want to say I told you so, but come on, thousands of Varroa here. Uh, I'm really glad that I treated, and I, I'm really glad that I chose the Mite Away Quick Strips. And again, I, I, I can't say enough about it. It's just been, it's just been a great experience. I had good conditions, and I followed the instructions. So I think that's why it worked. And. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. Thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome day.